NTDCNC are here in Colville at the home of Tornos. Now we are going to investigate the Tornos Swiss GT32 sliding head. Now, firstly, David, give me a very brief overview about this machine, please. Okay, the uh, Swiss GT32 is a six axis machine. Um, we have uh, C axis capability. We also have the ability for a B axis in the main and counter operation. Now, let's start with the spindles. Tell me a little bit about the main and the second spindle because you've got something that's quite unique. Yeah, on here we have uh, 10 kilowatt power on the main and the sub spindle, so that's a unique feature. And what benefits for the people that have not had the experience of this power um, achieved from this? Uh, I think it's flexibility. It gives you ability to uh, lay out your part as you'd want to rather than having to compensate for lower power in the sub spindle area. And when you're looking to cup hard materials and even mill hard materials with the milling functionality on this machine. You know, what kind of rigidity have you got with this product? Uh, the machine, as you can see, is um, a, a very solid, rigid machine. Um, we're around 3.5, 3.7 tonne, so uh, a, a big mass there as well behind it. And, and give me a, a bit of an example. I mean, you, you're actually working on a customer project here. Can you kind of explain what you're working on, which really kind of illustrates the rigidity and the power of this product? Yeah, I mean, on this part, we're uh, machining from stainless steel. Um, we're going straight in with a 22.5 U-drill. So that gives you an example of how powerful it is. And, and, and potentially, you know, for some people that have done work like this on a fixed head lathe, you know, is there a bit of a transition? If it was high volume, would you kind of say maybe you need to be doing it on a sliding head? Well, yeah, you're going to win on cycle time. This machine is currently being run bushless. So we're reducing the, the bar waste and tooling costs as well. Now, you mentioned six axis. We've also uh, B axis. Tell me about that B axis capability. So the B axis um, has tooling available in the main operations and counter operations. It can be indexed from zero to 135 degrees. And we also have a modular position that we can sw switch for different uh, attachments. Now, firstly, when you say it can be used in different positions, you, you, you mean you can work on the main and the second spindle with the B-axis, and is this unique? Yes, that's right, yeah, it is. The GT can actually run with soluble oil also, and I'll, I can imagine that could potentially save some of your customers a lot of money, but, you know, w give me an example of this. Um, yeah, we can run on mineral oil or water-based coolant and it gives the customer the ability to choose the right coolant for the products that they're doing, medical application as an example. Now, with the tooling packages that come with this machine, especially the driven tooling, they're all your own product and they're all modular. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this because, you know, I'm intrigued to know what's achievable with them. Not only can they be moved from platens, they can also be interchanged with different machine sizes and models yeah that's, a, that's correct so on a, on a standard um, gt32 like this one um, we can have modular driven tools in the main operations that can be switched to the counter operations and can be taken as an example from this machine to be put on a, a dt26 the b-axis option also gives you a modular capability on it as well so we can switch the bottom position for a driven tool or a thread whirler or something so like how, that. how does that work it's simply a, a, a switchable option. So if you imagine with thread whirling, you need to incline the, uh, the attachment to the helix angle of the thread. So we can do that electronically rather than having to be a mechanical um, adjustment as it would, would be normally. I mean, I keep saying unique on nearly every question that I'm asking you. But again, is this a unique feature to Tornos? Yes, yeah, sure, that is, yeah. Now, chip breaking. Now, this is a big common theme that's been going on for for quite a while now, mm -hmm. what is your solution to this? So we have um, Active Chip Breaker, ACB, and that works um, to help the, the customer manage swarf um, to aid unmanned running, etc. Is that built into the machine? It comes as an option. Um, we can fit it on all of the machines, whether that's a 4 mil Swiss Nano or a, a GT32 or Swiss Deco. Uh, programming language? Uh, we have the FANUC, um, standard FANUC control, so we're using standard ISO coding which can be programmed on the machine or we can use TISIS to program off the machine. Tornas are certainly renowned with quality. However, you know, are you competitive on price? Yeah, over recent years we've looked at our production methods and the savings we've been able to make in that area have been passed on to our customers and our products. Now, what kind of range do these products come in? 
So the GT um, is available in a 13 millimetre, so GT13, GT26 and a GT32. And for more, for people that want more information on the products and the machines that we've been discussing, how should they get in touch with you? Um, they can contact us uh, via uh, the website, they can contact us on telephone. Most of our details are, are known in the, in the marketplace.